Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing well. I welcome you in another lecture video of the course Unit Conversion. So the conversions which we are going to discuss today are very important conversions. These are energy and force conversions. We are not going to do the questions of force conversion, but you will require these conversions for doing energy conversions. So that is why I have written these four con uh, force conversions over here. So these conversions are really important. So you need to be more focused. Right students, so let's start the topic now. Uh, firstly, we have energy. Most common units of energy are Joule, BTU, that is British Thermal Unit, Earth, and Calorie. There are uh, other units of energy as well, but these are the most common units of energy. Right, students? Whenever we talk about Joule, so Joule is equals to, uh, or we can say it is the product of Newton meter, or we can say watt dot second. Right, students? And whenever we talk about arc, so arc is the product of dyne dot centimeter. Right, students? I hope these things are clear to you. Now, the most important conversions which we need to remember while doing energy conversions, I have written all those conversions here. That is 1 BTU equals to 1055 Joule. 1 calorie equals to 4.18 joule, 1 joule equals to 10 to the power 7 earth, and 1 kilowatt hour equals to 3.6 exponent 6 joule. Uh, we will be discussing this later uh, when, uh, when we will do its question. Firstly, uh, we will do only three questions. The two questions are really easy, but the third question that is a little bit tricky and difficult because we will be discussing all the previous conversions uh, of mass and uh, uh, force and other conversions which we uh, discussed in the previous video. So if you have any query in the previous uh, conversions, please go and watch the videos again. Otherwise, this uh, topic will not be clear to you. And in case of any query, you can ask me in the comment section. So let us start the question. Our first question is that how many kilowatt hour are there in 9000 BTU? So we have to solve this first question. Firstly, we have given this 9000 BTU. So our first step is to write it like this. Right, students? Now I don't know the direct conversion of BTU to KWH, that is kilowatt hour, but I know there is an alternate way by which I can convert this BTU to KWH and I have uh, uh, told you in the previous videos that you will only be champion to find this alternate way by doing practice. So you need to do more and more practice of these conversions, right? Let's find out that what is our alternate way. We know that 1 BTU equals to like we know the conversion of BTU to Joule and then we know the conversion of KWH and Joule or we can say Joule to KWH, right students? So by these two steps, we can find out that how many KWH are there in 9000 BTU. So let's start solving the question further. Uh, we have to cancel out this uh, BTU first. So how am I going to write this 1 BTU equals to 1055 Joule like this? That BTU will come in the divide and 1055 Joule will come in the multiply so only btu will cancel out this btu like this okay students now i have to cancel out this joule i know that uh, what is my relationship my relationship is 1 kwh equals to 3.6 exponent 6 joule so now i have to cancel out this joule so how am i going to write this relationship that this joule uh this joule will come in the divide so that I can cancel out these two. So I'm going to write it like this that 3.6 exponent 6 joules is equals to 1 kilowatt hour. So this joule will cancel out this joule and I have the conversion of BTU to KWH. So my answer will be 2.63 KWH which means that there will be 2.63 kWh uh, in 9000 BTU, right students? So the second question is also really easy. That is how many 
or you can say 8000 kilo calorie equals to how many BTU so firstly how are we going to write it we are going to write it like this 8000 we know that this kilo equals to 1000 so we can write it like this into exponent 3 and calorie this kilo is 10 to the power 3 right so I have written it like this now again it's time to find the alternate way so what will be my alternate way we know the conversion of BTU to joule and then we know the conversion of uh, joule to uh, calorie that is very easy one calorie 4.18 joule so uh, let's start solving this question firstly we have to cancel this joule so we know that one calorie equals to 4.18 joule so this calorie term will come in the divide section and this joule term will go in the multiplication section like this so this calorie will cancel out this calorie then uh, we have to cancel out this joule now so we know that 1 BTU equals to 1055 joule so how am I going to write it the joule term will come in the divide that is 1055 joule because we have to cancel out these joule and joule and 1 BTU term will come in the multiplication so multiply 8000 exponent 3 into 4.18 into 1 divided by 1055 so you, you will get 31.7 exponent 3 BTU which means that 8000 kilocalorie contain 31.7 exponent 3 BTU now students the most important question which we are going to do uh, it's really uh, important and also a little bit tricky question because we will be doing other uh, previous uh, videos uh, we are going to use previous videos uh, uh, in this question as well but before that if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel so now let's see what is our third and the last and the most difficult <laughs> question I would say so the question is 3 kilo what hour equals to how many lbf dot fit right students so for this question we will be required uh, we will be requiring these force conversions so what is this force con what are these force conversions that one newton equals to kilogram meter per second square and one lbf equals to slug dot fit per second square if we see uh, these conversions this slug we discussed it while doing mass conversions this kg we discussed it while doing mass conversions this meter is we discussed it while doing length uh, conversions and these seconds are of course time so it means that while doing this question I will be requiring mass conversions as well and also length conversions as well so my uh, concept of converting mass and length uh, questions should also be clear so that I can solve this question so that is why I am asking you if you have any query in those previous videos please go and watch the videos and ask me in the comment section if you have any queries let's start solving the question our first step is, is to write like this 3 and this is kilo which means that exponent 3 watt hour right now uh, a very simple thing which uh, I think I didn't tell you guys that joule per second is called watt like this what it is actually equals to joule per second right students so for cancelling this what I will write that 1 what equals to joule per second joule 
per second is called watt right students means joule per second equals to watt or we can say one watt equals to joule per second so this watt will cancel out this watt now for this is hour and this is second i know one hour equals to three six double zero seconds right so I can I have to cancel out this hour so the hour term will come in the uh, divide section and the second term will come in multiplication section so how am I going to write uh, this conversion that one hour equals to three six double zero second like this one hour equals to three six double zero seconds right so this hour will cancel out this hour and this second will cancel out this second now the only remaining unit is joule so see that we discussed one joule equals to newton dot meter why am i going to write uh, or why am i going to use this uh, conversion newton meter i could have used this watt dot second why am i not using this so the answer is because um, i already have told you that these are the this lbf is the unit of force here we required this lbf right so i have to use that unit which is also the unit of force which means that if i'm going to use this unit watt dot second watt is not the unit of force it's the unit of power so it will not give me my conversion but if i use this newton meter newton is also the unit of force so it can take me to force and by using force I can go in mass length and other conversions and find out the answer to this question I hope this thing is clear in your mind that why am I using this relationship Newton meter because Newton is the unit of force and I require force unit in order to get LBF here to solve this question so that is why I am using this relationship that 1 joule equals to Newton meter. So how am I going to write it? 1 joule equals to Newton meter. So this joule will cancel out this joule. Now see, I know that 1 Newton equals to 1 Newton equals to kilogram meter per second square. So just write it that 1 Newton equals to kilogram meter per second square right so this Newton will cancel out this Newton now for LBF slug was the unit of mass so um, or uh, leave this thing we will discuss it later now if I want to cancel this meter I know that meter 1 meter equals to 3.28 feet why am I going to use this uh, uh, yeah, conversion because I require fit here as well right and the conversion 1 meter equals to 3.28 feet we discussed it while doing land question if you remember right so let's write it that 1 meter equals to 3.28 but if we see we don't have meter we have meter square so we will be requiring meter square to cancel out this meter square right so we will write 1 meter equals to 3.28 fit but because these are meter square so I am going to write it a square here a square here a square here right we discussed this thing as well while doing meter and other previous conversion so meter square will cancel out these two meters okay students now I have this kg fit square and second square which I have to cancel uh, I have to cancel this kg second square and one fit because one fit is required here fit now right students so I have to cancel only one fit so now I am going to write to cancel this one fit I know that one LBF equals to slug dot fit per second square and only by using this this conversion factor I will I need LBF 
here in my question so lbf will come and also second square this second square will cancel out this second square and this one fit will be cancelled out by this one fit right so just write this one lbf why i wrote this lbf uh, in the multiplication uh, in the multiplication because this is required in multiplication okay so i hope these things are clear in your mind now so one lbf equals to slug dot fit per second square to so one lbf equals to slug dot fit per second square okay students so see this fit will cancel out this one fit and this second square will cancel out this second square so now i have the unit of slug which i need to cancel and here is my lbf which is required and here is my one fit which is required okay so the only hurdle is this slug we have to cancel out this slug anyhow so we remember that this slug was the unit of mass if you don't remember let me just show you the mass conversions right students so see this slug is the conver uh, unit of mass so we will be using now the conversions of mass to cancel this slug so we know that one slug equals to 32 lbm So this slug will cancel out this slug. Then we know that 1 lbm equals to 454 gram. We have discussed all these conversions uh, in the mass, uh, uh, mass conversion video, right? So uh, 1 lbm equals to 454 gram. So this lbm will cancel out this lbm and we know that uh, 1 kg equals to 1000 G. So, 1 kg equals to 1000 G. So, this gram will cancel out this gram and this kg will cancel out this kg. Right, students? So, now I only have LBF and FIT which were my required units so when you will solve uh, these uh, three expo uh, three into uh, 10 exponent 3 multiply by 3 6 double 0 multiply by 3.28 uh, square multiply by 1000 divided by 32 into 454 so you will get 7.98 exponent 6 lbf dot fit so this was uh, the trickiest question. I hope this question is clear to you guys. If you have any query in this lecture video, you can ask me in the comment section. Don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends as well.